Hey, how's it going everybody? So, in today's video, I'm gonna be basically talking about an issue that came up on my last video. Now, this one issue is actually when I was trying to capture audio via my Nintendo Switch. Now, I was um, basically trying to capture this audio and basically the video as well uh, while it was docked on the next docking station. Um, once I actually started recording, I noticed that there was a buzzing sound um, whenever I was recording. So I decided to go right ahead and basically just kind of give an explanation on, you know, basically what was going on when I was trying to, um, you know, record the audio and video on it. Well, I found out that because the Nintendo Switch is connected to the dock and it's providing, you know, constant power to it, you start getting kind of like a, an electrical buzz uh, whenever you actually try to capture the audio on it. So, what I was originally using was basically this cable right here. So, this cable is actually the Elgato uh, chat link and this one's actually the old version so it's just basically it's just the cable itself just so you can kind of see it see it right there so it's just the cable that's all it is now there was an adapter that I can I could buy I think it was like about maybe like nine dollars probably ten dollars uh, that you could go right ahead and basically adapt to this uh, to you know reduce the what is it um I guess uh, it's called a noise isolator so there was an option to go right ahead and basically get the noise isolator and connect it here and, you know, call it quits. But then I actually started looking and it looks like um, Elgato actually has uh, an up upgraded version of this cable. So that's exactly what I'm going to be unboxing and as well as replacing this cable as well. So right here is the Elgato Chatlink Pro. So this one actually has a built-in isolator. Let me see if I can, there you go. So that has a built-in isolator right there that you could go ahead and toggle on and off. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and basically unbox this and then I'll go ahead and basically connect it to my computer and uh, I'll go ahead and let you hear the noise that I was actually hearing. And then basically, as soon as we turn on the, the what is it, the noise isolator, um, basically the buzzing will go away. All right, so I, I really don't expect anything too extravagant on this one. I mean, most likely it's just gonna be the cable itself. I mean, I don't know if there's gonna be any additional little accessories but I don't, I don't think so. Alrighty, so here we have, of course, basically uh, it out of the actual packaging box. So here's, of course, uh, some information. So if you wanna go ahead and pause the video, you could go ahead and uh, take a look at that. Now, uh, like I was expecting, yes, it's just the cable itself. So let me go ahead and get this. Just slide this out, there we go. Cool. All right, so it's it's a lot different than the original one. I believe, I think this one's probably gonna be a little bit longer than the original chat link. Alrighty, so I did just right now verify, so the actual new Elgato uh, chat link pro is actually nine feet uh, in length compared to the original, or the original one, which was only six feet. So you get an additional three feet right there. So as you can see, um, basically right now it's uh, off, but we could go right ahead and toggle this on. And of course, that's why I need this cable for is to go right ahead and basically stop that buzzing noise. Now, I will tell you this. I did experience that exact same buzzing when I was actually capturing on my PlayStation 5. But I only, uh, you know, noticed the buzzing when I was actually actively uh, charging or pl or the power was actually plugged in to the actual controller itself and then that little buzzing noise would come in. Alrighty, how this is gonna work is basically this cable that is basically just by itself is actually gonna be going to the line in on my actual computer. Now, I might, I might do another video on how to go ahead and basically set up 
you know, probably like a PlayStation 5 and or even probably even the Switch as well, and how you could go ahead and connect the audio and actually be able to capture the audio and the video on it. But nonetheless, this does go in the line in a port of your computer. And then this side will actually go to the actual switch itself. So the switch will uh, has a 3.5 millimeter little uh, port. You just go right ahead and connect that there. And then on this end, you'll actually have uh, your actual headphones connected here. Alrighty, so now that I went right ahead and explained that, let me go ahead and move over to my actual main workstation. And let me go ahead and exactly show you exactly what I was hearing. And then now, you know, that I'm that I have this on, how the buzzing will go away. Alrighty, everybody, so I'm back in my main workstation. Let's go right ahead and switch over to the Nintendo Switch so I can go right ahead and uh, you know point out that buzzing sound that I was talking about. Okay. So we're in the, the menu right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet for a little bit and you're gonna actually see that little, you're gonna notice that little buzzing. You kinda hear it, right? It's just like a constant just bzzz. So that is basically with, um, with the noise isolation off. So let me go ahead and turn that on and then basically the buzzing will go away. There it is. That buzzing is gone. So now let's go ahead and actually start moving around the menu and see if we actually get any audio. So it is, it's, you know, I'm actually going through the actual menu and you can actually, you know, hear the actual audio getting picked up from going from game to game. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is the end of this video. Um, you know, at first I was like really wondering what would be a good fix for it because I mean, don't get me wrong, it's like I do want to go ahead and, you know, record videos um, and gameplay, but you know, it's just that little buzzing sound was being a little bit annoying. And, um, you know, on that topic, you know, I, I hope actually this helps other individuals out because I mean, I had that chat link for, you know, quite some time and I had no idea that Elgato had a, had an upgraded one that had this feature on it. So, um, yeah, so nonetheless, you know, I, I really do hope that, uh, this video helps you out, but nonetheless, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you. And like always, we will catch you on the next one.